partly other than the reason of catching up with you, you know, you've always been a good friend. Um, I remember when we first connected, reconnected, you were conducting this like podcast slash vlog show, uh, just the two of us. So I wanted to know like, yeah. And I decided to go out, to go out of my way and like, see if you guys were still making content, you guys are still running it, and there's nothing to be seen. Um, okay, I wanted so to know what happened with this podcast. First of all, like why was it created and where is it headed? <laughs> okay. So, okay. We started that podcast. That's one of my best friends, uh, Jasenia, her and I did it and it's called just the two of us. Cause mm-hmm. obviously we're both just right. whatever you get it. So that started because, so at the beginning of the pandemic, I had also had like a relationship status change. So I was dating somebody and then the pandemic hit that ended and like it, especially being like alone now, like in isolation where like, this was like, I'm talking like peak of peak of pandemic where people were like washing their grocery bags when they came in yeah, okay? not just yeah. like the food that microwaving came in. Like their food was, for 30 seconds. Do you remember that? Right. Like, like yeah, yeah. 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 Like making sure that like everything was like sanitized and sprayed. So like, people took that super serious, especially in my family too. Like we weren't allowed to have anybody like come in my house, anything. So I was like, I just went from normal life already, whatever. Plus I was like in a relationship. So I was used to like having somebody every single day that I was talking to in some kind of capacity to now literally no human interaction outside. But now also my phone is literally no one's texting me. No one's calling me. No one's talking to me. So it was just a complete change. So with Jasenia, what we would do is we would do like outdoor workouts or like just kind of like workouts together, whatever. So we lived pretty close at the time and we see each other daily. And then, uh, her and I were like, why don't we just like start a YouTube and like just make videos for, and it was honestly for ourselves because I never anticipated for people to even watch it. If I'm really, really honest. Yeah. Um, we obviously like put it up and like promoted it because like, Hey, we made the content. Like if you want to watch whatever, but it was never about like, if people watch it, they watch it. They don't, they don't. So we made that initially, honestly, for ourselves, we were bored in quarantine. We saw each other every single day anyways, because we were working out and then it was something fun to do. And for me, especially because I did all the editing, it was something to get my mind and keep me busy. So like, it was good for me because if you notice, um, I don't know like which ones you've ever watched or if you've ever watched any of them, mm-hmm. but I have like a specific like editing style where I'll put in clips from like movies or I'll put in like pictures of like whatever certain memes. Yeah, I did but, notice that. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's like my editing style because I edit for myself. I don't edit for an audience. So it's like the best way. I yeah. edit in a way that like when I watch it, I laugh and I'm going to like it. So like, I don't really care if you like it, but like, I I think it's hilarious. So either people liked our content or didn't like it because they didn't like my editing style. Um, So, but I I have like actually a lot of compliments on the editing style, which I was really shocked about because people were like, oh my God, this was so funny. And I'm like, really? Like you have like the same humor as me? Like you thought that was funny? Yeah, I thought it was funny. We have the same humor. Yeah. We've already been established. Yeah, we have the same same humor. So, but yeah, so then um, we just did that. And then the reason it stopped was because I ended up moving. So uh last summer I I moved um to Windsor just for like usually for the summer I'll like move to Windsor and I'll work back at the bar that I I worked at like way back when why I was is that undergrad. just change of environment change of space? yeah and like it's good money too like just during okay. the summertime and then I had a lot of friends that were here too that I'd made like during my undergrad so it's just nice to catch up with them too but then I would stay for the summer and then I'd go back home so then whatever but this summer when I came to Windsor I ended up just kind of like lingering and I stayed Wow. So it died off because we didn't see each other anymore. And then we tried coming up with ways that we were going to do it where like I was here, she was there. But then because I was also doing so much here, I was like, kind of sucks because then like I'm also going to have to edit. And then like it just was, it became too much. But I yeah. actually didn't even know that all of our stuff is taken down either until I went to go look at it one day. And then I'm oh. like, hey, where's our stuff? So she made it private. She was just like, oh, well, okay. we weren't doing anything with it. So it's still there. But yeah, she just. Yeah, as long as you didn't delete it, because I think it was a fun show. No, and you should definitely yeah. make a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, they were fu- they were really funny. I know. I honestly I thought that's really that's something like it. you could do as well, right? Like other than teaching, again, the creative persona you have, right? Is yeah. uh, I thought you were gonna go full force with that. Obviously, life gets in the way, like with anything, right? But yeah, never too late for sure. Yeah. Well, you, you know what? I honestly, it. I've always thought too of just doing a YouTube more kind of like lifestyle, where it was like just kind of like me and my day, and like again, not for you anybody, but like yeah. for myself. But you know, you do get in your head though. When we were doing the just the two of us. No one said it to me directly, but I'd hear through the grapevine that like people would be like, you know, like what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, but you know everyone, what I mean? Everyone, like, yeah, everyone we're talks we're not like, <laughs> si- yeah, I get, I get what like, you we're mean. We're not like sixteen. I'm not sixteen, being like, hey, look at my like makeup routine. No, don't. Like, no one really yeah. cares. But 
it just so some like it didn't really matter to me because at the end of the day like when i was yeah. making those videos it wasn't for other people it was like i'm yeah. in the middle of a pandemic i need something to do this is exciting and fun whatever and i'm just making a video out of it